congratulations. We're in Milan. It went the distance. It was a good fight, but you got the win by unanimous decision. How are you feeling? I feel great. Yeah, very happy about the win. Um, yeah, a lot was riding on this fight. Um, it was the last fight of my contract, um, so it was my job on the line at the end of the day. Um, I've just got engaged. I've got a baby due in ten weeks. Well, it'll be nine weeks on Monday. So uh, yeah, the adult life is, is taken over for me, and I needed to stack some paper because I've been a hobo in the gym for, I don't know, 10 years now. So, uh, yeah, so very good, very happy about that win. Good. And you know what, in there, you look calm, you look composed. It was very technical in places, uh, but you looked in control. Is that how it felt? I think so. There was there was definitely parts of the fight where Akon has his success. Um, I, I won all three rounds, but, um, I mean, he caught me with a, a nice few shots. Um, he's a very talented athlete, so... Uh, yeah, hats off to Akon. Um, but I think I think I controlled it. I dropped him um, and I got a nice few takedowns. But yeah, so happy with the performance. Good. And like speaking of Akon, there was a bit of bad feeling this week. There was some tension in the hotel, uh, waving his lightsaber at you. Um, but at the end there, there looked like a lot of respect between you. Um, yeah. Has that settled the score as far as you're concerned? Yeah, he said he wants it again. But that's the compare in it. Uh, if I was him, I'd definitely want it again as well. Um, yeah, I mean... It was a bit of bad luck. It wasn't. It wasn't like vicious. Um, it was more just disrupting. But yeah, I, I mean, I think he's. A, I think he's got the ability to go right up there. So I think it was a bit early on in his career to fight me. And I said that to him after. Um, if he improves his grappling a bit and just listens to his corner a bit more, um, I think he'll be a very tough force to, to be reckoned with in the future. Absolutely. And after this win, there's going to be a lot of chat about who's next for you, but who do you want? Um, I mean, I want, I know that the title's vacant now. Well, there's Pitbull, it's 145, so it's kind of, it's kind of vacant. I don't know what he's going to be doing. Um, so I want, to, I want the title. I said when I signed to Bellator within two years, obviously the pandemic's happened, so it might get pushed back a bit, but I want something that's going to progress me onto there. So, I mean, I, I would like the, the Pitbull brother. Um, just because I know he's highly rated. He's a strike. One. The, yeah, the, the worst one. <laughs> <laughs> Not the champion, the worst one. Uh, and then I'll fight the champion too. But I want him first. And then, I don't know, I just want to put on classic performances and, and yeah, progress up the ladder. But uh, yeah, give me a pit bull um, or, or a Bellator can choose for me. But someone that's going to make me stand out or saying, I think I'm a bit un underrepresented in Bellator. I'm 5-0 in Bellator now. Most people don't know who I am. Like there's guys at a main event and co-main event in that they've got less records than me and I've smashed them sparring before. That's not that's not too uh, I don't kiss and tell, but you know it's, I know I know where I am and I'm not sure why I've been pushed. Um, but now I want to be pushed. All right, we'll take a couple questions. Uh, starting with Santiago. Alfie, congratulations on the win. And um, it got quite heated between you and Akon one least during the weigh-ins. Did that motivate you even more? And do you think Akon made a mistake there by poking you? Yeah, I mean, I think I provoked him to interview. Um, yeah, I think we provoked each other, but I knew it was early on in his career. I knew that I could mess with his mind a bit, so I, I played some uh, some uh, mind tricks on him. And I, to be honest, I think he was hesitant when he was in there. Uh, I'm not sure because of that. It might be because it's early on in his career, but uh, I think I my mental warfare game from growing up on the estate I grew up. If you ain't got good mental war. Uh, warfare, you're getting eaten up. The older boys will take their piss out of you. So, sorry, excuse my language, but uh, yeah, so my mental warfare is on top. And uh, yeah, I thought, I thought I'd use it to my advantage. And not a lot of people wanted to face Akon. You did not shy away from the challenge. What is your next goal? Would you like to be for your next fight on the main card of a big European show? Yeah, I think I deserve it. 5 0 in Bellator. Uh, I deserve to be on the main card. As I said, I'm not sure why I haven't. To be honest, I think my style's attractive. Uh, I don't think I'm... I, I think I'm quite well-spoken. I don't want to be sound too cocky, but I, I'm not like a dope, you know what I mean? I, I can speak. So I'm not sure why I haven't. There's, there's people that are on the main cards and I'm like, really? Why are these guys on there? So, I mean, I can start speaking like this, you know, I might be Irish and say I fight for SPG and then I'll be main event still, you know what I mean? But for now, London has put us on the main card, yeah? I know there's the McGregor effect, but he's retired now. So he might be having a boxing fight, but he's out of MMA. So get past that. London is in town now. So put us on the main cards. Shipman's on there now. 
Uh, I've got my boy Norbert on there. I want also I want all of my there's other guys that are getting signed at 2 3 0 and they're on there. Have you seen the London Street Fighters roster? It is mad. We've got the Bash Rap brothers, we've got Felix. These guys, these guys are that's just to name a few. I don't want to I could name the whole team, but these guys would display the best martial arts you can get on Bellator. And and just because they don't speak with an Irish accent, that you're not putting them on there. Put these guys on there, they, they, they'll take over the European circuit. So uh, that's what I've got to say to that. All right, we'll go to Jake. Alfie, congratulations on the win there tonight. Um, I mean, you mentioned it, so I will start with it. London Shoot Fighters, it's a busy few weeks for you guys. Just how good is that gym right now? And what's the vibe like around the gym? Obviously, you've only the pros have only been allowed back in for a few weeks. It's coming out of COVID, coming out of the lockdown. What's the vibe like being around the gym going into this one? I mean, it's been good, to be honest. London Shoot Fighters, yeah, well, I say a good vibe. Like, I think that's a... I think that's how some gyms can go wrong sometimes. It's, it's too good of a vibe. When we go to shoot, it's a competitive environment. They are friends outside of the gym, but in the gym, we want to kill each other. And that's not to say that we're silly in our training, but it's to say that we're all competitive, trying to better ourselves. Um, so London Shoot is a, a massive hotbed at the minute. Um, we've got a hotbed of talent coming through. We've got the senior people that are dominating circuits. And then there's the younger people that are even, if I'd say so, even more talented than the than the and the senior people, they just need to have their time and make sure they're, they're in it well. But London Shoot, I, I would say, is, is the best club in Europe. Um, obviously, I'm biased, but if you just look at the talent, like fighter for fighter, I think we're, we're definitely one of the best, top three. Um, but I think we're the best club in Europe. If we look at about now, you have just had, was that the sort of fight you were expecting from Akon? And did you bring anything that maybe surprised you in there tonight? No, um, no, I sort of thought that he was his good boxer, um, and I knew that he'd be pressuring. So he didn't. It wasn't anything. It wasn't anything um, that I didn't expect. I'm a bit disappointed in myself because I thought that I wouldn't be on the back foot like that the whole fight. I mean, I can counter fight like that all day, um, but I can also fight on my front foot very well. Um, so I'm a bit disappointed in myself that I didn't go on the front foot as well as I could. Um, but to be honest, he, he clipped me with a good shot in the back of my head, and I, I don't know if you saw it in there, but I was rocked from it. So it made me a bit, a little bit hesitant. So, um, I mean, but I won every round and I nearly finished it. But at the same time, yeah, again, Akon's a great athlete. Um, I believe he, he can go very far in, in this sport. Jerry? D did I detect a kind of um, a sense that there might be a, a shoot fighters versus SPG kind of uh, event in your mind? That would be great. That would be great. Who would I have? Come on, Jerry. You know the roster. Who would I have? Pick your SVG guy for me. Uh, I, I don't have an SVG hat. I, I'm independent media, my man. Um, I know, but you know all the fighters. Who, which lightweight SVG fighter? You always ask me. Come on, you're on the spot. Now. You know the ones to call out. I, I'm not. I'm, I'm not going to make matches. But 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 on a serious note. Um, I mean, we know that SVG kind of ruled the roost in Ireland, pretty much uh, in Bellator, and they would say, you know, it was open to anybody to take that position. But you're you're very much saying that you feel shoot fighters aren't getting the recognition they deserve. So, um, I mean, I mean, it, it is the way out of it to call out the top guys in SVG. Do you want me to call them out? Yeah. Jerry, what's going on here, Jerry? Don't, don't get away. Well, it was you, it was you uh, bought I mean, it Yeah, I would. I, I, again, I would fight. Um, I mean, who is that top? I know Peter Greeley's a good fight. That'd be a good fight for me. Um, Charlie Leary's fighting. Um, Crosby. Crosby, Crosby. Sorry. Crosby, yeah. I, know him as, I know him as well. He's a nice guy. And he's a good, he's a good fighter. Sorry, he's, he's tender sweat. I mean, Kiva Crosby, I know he's, I think he's trying to come down to lightweight. That would be an excellent fight. Uh, if you yep. beat Charlie Leary, I think that's a tough fight for him, though, Charlie Leary. Charlie Leary's uh, very underrated. I'm really looking forward um, to that, actually. Yeah, the name actually escaped me because there's so many fights, like there's so many events happening. Yeah, there. yeah. I mean, I haven't got anything against SBG. I just think what happened was, was that Connor obviously was a phenom um, phenomenon. Sorry, excuse me. Um, in, uh, in MMA, and he, he blasted the scene. And... Uh, they, they all speak very similar. And to be honest, who doesn't like an Irishman? They're, they're very funny. You know, if, if you ever meet an Irishman, it's very hard for them not to make you laugh. So I understand why they're doing it. But at the same time, 
some of their not so talented fighters are getting massive opportunities and we've got more talented fighters and they're not getting it. It's just, I mean, I understand that it's show business, but you've got to be able to fight and people like watching quality fights, you know, like the UFC, for example, half of them speak like bloody donuts, but just because they're great fighters, people get behind them. So I understand the model that Bellator are pushing, but just get some, like we've got exceptional talent. Please put them in there.